Welcome forward to star four of our journey and uh, the three words we're going to use to help us extract or help the text reveal meaning to us that the, the gospel text are trust, forever virgin and God the Son. So that's the name or names we're going to give today's star to help us orientate ourselves through the, the gospel and our lives in general. So Jesus has just come out of the wilderness and, and he's just about to start his ministry. So now when Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and made his home in Capernaum by the lake in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali so that what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, on the road by the sea, across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to proclaim, Repent for the kingdom of heaven, has come near. So again, you might want to pause the videos and, and and give that some thought yourself. But I've tried to brainstorm some ideas around those words and how they speak to the text, and the text speaks to the words, and try to extract some meaning out. That the first thing I made a connection with with Abraham actually. So Abraham, when we meet Abraham in the Old Testament, he's was asked by God to leave and go on a journey. So leave home, leave everything that's familiar to him and go off journey and trust God. And that is what I think is happening here for Jesus as well. He's having to leave home and start his ministry. So in some respects, he's being led up again into some, not the wilderness per se, but into certainly into chaos, into the unknown. And he's gonna to have to completely trust God. And this is on the back of knowing that John has just been arrested for speaking the truth. And Jesus, again, he's starting his ministry with this, the concept of repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near. So he'll be knowing that John's been arrested and why. But he's, got to, he's going to be trusting God to continue and be and do what God wants him to, well, what he intends him to be and what he wants him to do so he's got his priorities right in terms of serving God now in the text we talk about uh, a prophecy and Jesus is that light so that's this link for me to I suppose purity star light but also the metaphor therefore relating that to this concept of forever virgin this concept of purity and light in the darkness so that's where there's a connection there and uh just moving on it's you know again this this concept of the light this purity that is helping orientate jesus to be in what god intends him to be so that and again as part of being you know the, the son of god so for me this text in terms of that talks about having to authentically live and uh, if you don't live what is the opposite to that and i'll come to that in a second but it's to live authentically you have to trust in god and i suppose that's the word that, that's coming out of those three the most for me and and if there's no trust in God, then you will not live authentically. And that's quite interesting. So what is the opposite to live? And I did give that some thought, and we've often talked about mirror images and so forth. But if, if you were, what's quite interesting, it probably works in English anyway. The word live, L-I-V-E, the opposite, if you spell it backwards, is e v i l evil and that's interesting so there's obviously a deeper meaning there which i'll have to think about and explore as we go through the day so with that i'll leave you with your thoughts and reflections until tomorrow god bless